One cannot examine the Cold War without looking at one of the great races of that time. In 1952, the International Council of Scientific Unions decided to name an international geophysical year. The period between July 1, 1957 to December 31, 1958 would contain high cycles of solar activity. The U.S. and the USSR both wanted to launch satellites. America's satellite project was started September 1955. However, Vanguard, as the satellite was called, would not be the first successfully launched satellite. On October 4, 1957, Sputnik 1 was launched by the Soviet Union. It weighed only 83.6 kilograms and took about 98 minutes to orbit the Earth. It marked the start of a space age. Vanguard's intended 3.5 pound load was considerably smaller. The U.S. decided to start on a new satellite, the Explorer. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, was also created after Sputnik 1. On November 3rd, Sputnik 2 was launched, this time including a dog. The Soviets seemed to be ahead in this space race. On January 31, 1958, Explorer 1 was launched by the U.S. The smaller satellite ended up discovering magnetic belts. Eleven years later, American astronaut Neil Armstrong would be the first man to step foot on the moon. July 20th, 1969 was an important date in the space race for Americans. The Cold War may have ended in 1989, but the exploration of space has continued. We go on to land on planets and to seek out distant galaxies, all thanks to a race during the Cold War.